I'm Robert Lawrence Kuhn, and here's what I'm watching. China's overarching national goals to become an innovative nation by 2020, to be in the front ranks of innovative countries by 2035, and a global scientific power by 2050. China has achieved the first goal. For example, the number of patents filed by Chinese entities now leads the world, though quality, while improving, still lacks. But now, in light of disrupting international conditions, led by U.S. sanctions and pressures to decouple science and technology, China has a laser focus on self-reliance in science and technology. In formulating the 14th five-year plan, 2021 to 2025, and in setting a long-range 15-year plan to 2035, both formalized by the National People's Congress during the 2021 two sessions, the CPC in its fifth plenum in October 2020 established a new development stage, developing a new development philosophy and applying a new development paradigm. Clearly, these new development stage philosophy and paradigm demand that scientific and technological innovation be top priority in order to create new development momentum by accelerating key core technology capabilities and research. The 14th five-year plan emphasizes artificial intelligence, AI, and machine learning, integrated circuit design and manufacturing, semiconductor chips, quantum computing, life sciences and biotechnology, especially brain sciences, and new materials. Technological applications emphasize the digital economy, 5G, intelligent manufacturing, healthcare, alternative energy and new energy vehicles, and space and sea sciences, among others. Chinese experts cite three ways how China's national development over the next five years must stress technological independence and self-reliance. First, increase the proportion of original innovation, especially basic research. Currently, the proportion of China's basic research investment of its total R&D investment is below 6%, which is far lower than the 18% in the U.S. and 25% in France. Second, Continue intelligent industrial upgrading and transformation, transitioning from following to parallel running or even to leading in some high-tech fields. Third, prepare for deglobalization and uncoupling of scientific and technological cooperation and supply chains. Indigenous innovation must alleviate bottlenecks and make up for shortcomings particularly in semiconductor chips. China plans to spend $1.4 trillion during the next five years in emerging new technologies. AI, 5G, chips, data centers, quantum computing. But there are challenges. When huge funds are allocated by government and time periods are demanded to be short, it is all too easy for resources to be misallocated to well-connected but poorly equipped enterprises, causing inefficiencies, waste, distraction, and disappointment. In response, the government is tightening peer review procedures and engaging the private sector. One lens through which to view China's science and technology is that of the new development concepts which fit the new development stage and drive the 14 five-year plan. I'm Keeping Watch, I'm Robert Lawrence Kuhn.